how was uh, how was the first day of boot camp? It was good. Uh, you know, I think that uh, everybody kind of got their feet wet, and then uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we're uh, you know comfortable with everything we're doing, and we can get through some things. But it was good chance to get out there and get conditioning and get the freshmen uh, on board on what we're doing. Is there something you really focus on in boot camp? Um, you know, as you go through them more and more, you really see that it's uh, for our benefit. You know, at the beginning, you really go out there and it sucks and whatnot. But between the conditioning and, uh, you know, kind of just the team building, going through some adversity with teammates, it actually is something that uh, will definitely help you in the long run. So um, just focusing on, on getting something out of it and um, building from it. You've been through a bunch of them, obviously, and you may not have time to do this, but do you find yourself kind of sitting back and watching the freshmen, especially day one, how they handle it, what, what, what it's like for them? Because obviously that's the first time for those guys. It is. It's, uh, it's, it's funny seeing it from a different perspective because, yeah. you know, you were once thinking the same things I'm sure they were thinking. But, um, you know, hopefully they just they understand that, you know, this is, a, this is an important time of the year and that this is just a step in a bigger picture and just kind of look at it that way and it, it'll, it'll go by pretty easy if you do that. How would you grade those guys today? Um, you know, as far as uh, getting through the conditioning, they did a, a good job. They handled that well. Um, we we got to pick up the, the drills a little faster. I know it's early in the morning, but uh, other than that, I, I think, you know, we'll, we'll be okay, especially tomorrow once everybody kind of gets back out there and isn't so worried about <laughs> what's to come. Is, boot, is it just like a series of events you guys do? Like you start out stretching and then you go from station to station or how exactly does it work? Uh, yeah, we, we usually uh, start off with some stretching. We do some jump ropes and light warm-ups, which end up you, you get tired after warm-ups. And then you go into some stations and do some other uh, drills. And, and really, if you can get through a day with no mistakes, uh, it goes pretty quick. Um, where, where you hurt yourself is, is mess ups and having to do stuff over again. And uh, once you kind of get into a, a bad groove, it's just a downhill spiral. But uh, you, you just try to just make it through and, and uh, it's just some constant uh, different things that are uh, used for conditioning and stuff. Have you, noticed, have you noticed Carlton looking or playing any bigger than he did at the end of last year already? Yeah, yeah. And I think that uh, he needs to uh, even use his size more, um, you know, he's put on some weight and, and that's good. And, but, I mean, there's another level to it, which is using him. I mean, there's big guys who, you know, uh, who don't sometimes. And, you know, he's just adjusting his game, knowing that he's very talented outside. But, you know, we need him every now and then, depending on matchups or personnel in the game, to step inside. And, and Coach, you know, he, he knows what he wants from Carlton. I'm sure that in these next couple uh, weeks of practice, so he'll make sure that Carlton's on the same page. He said he definitely can feel himself able to push you back a little more versus last year. Do, do, you, do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. No, he definitely does. Uh, you know, he, it, it's good, and it's good for me, too, you know, to be able to have uh, some, as many bodies as possible to be able to do that. Um, but, yeah, no, it's good. We got him. We got uh, Udoka now, big boy, and uh, Dwight, uh, even Evan, the transfer, you know, all, all got good size, so it, it's good to be able to go against all of them. Yeah, what's that like for you to, to kind of snap your fingers and all of a sudden you got all these other big bodies around you <coughs> in the last couple of years? That's That's been your role by yeah. far. Uh, it, it's it's good. I mean, it's something that helps simulate, um, you know, some of the matchups that you go through, through the Big 12 and through, you know, some of the tournament games. And so it, it's good practice for myself and and hopefully for them too, um, you know, having to uh, work on different things against me and uh, get a chance to uh, learn like I did from past bigs who were uh, upperclassmen. So. Does it feel any different going into a season as, as an incumbent starter for the first time as a guy <coughs> whose role is expected to be? Yeah, it, it does. I mean, some the last couple of years it was kind of up in the air and, you know, that adds a lot of uh, different <coughs> thoughts and uh, stress to the situation, but this year, you know, it's it's I, I, I'm a little bit more relaxed going into it. Um, I know that there's a lot of things I still have to improve on and do for our team, but um, it's definitely you know a, a different feeling going into this year. Terry Young, 
having Jamari gone, and you just mentioned some of the new guys. Just day one, does it feel like a totally different team already? It, it does, but the thing is, with with the whole summer rules and stuff, kind of getting to play with them, you get a chance to kind of get used to them. I think by now, you've already kind of gone through that uh, that transition phase of getting used to this team and practicing with them, seeing them all. So, um, you know, ha after the summer, we're kind of comfortable with uh, the new team and and understanding that those guys you know, aren't, aren't with us anymore, and that we got some new guys we have to bring along. In bringing along Udoka, what specifically are you working with? Um, using his body, uh, he's he's so uh, such a gifted uh, young man that it's it's just like if he can pick up some small things and use his body and use his athletic ability, um, he'll be great. I mean, I wish I I had some of the um, tools that he has, and so if he can just kind of learn some small things about how to use his body, how to get position and angles and stuff like that. Um, it's it's a problem that teams will either have to foul him or it's a bucket kind of thing. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing him develop throughout this year. and He'll be a problem. Before last year, the, the, those teams were so young. You know, you were part of them and, and part of the youth too. And, and, and then last year you had some veterans. Kevin just mentioned those guys are gone. And then you roll over with more veterans this year. Is that a different feeling too? Just, just you know, I mean, you lose those guys off of off of last year's team. You would think probably a team would get pretty young. <coughs> you guys really, I mean, you are in some ways, but but you still have a huge core there. Yeah, no, it with with the core that we have back and just the personality of the younger guys like Carlton and LeGerald and Spee. You know, we, we got some guys who are, um, you know, they they don't act as young as their age and then you add that with the guys who are coming back and it really has a, a vibe in the locker room that um, I don't know if I've really been to this level with before as far as the focus and the understanding of what needs to be done and I think that the teams right before I came here kind of had that feeling to it and you know I'm happy that we kind of got that culture back in the locker room and around the team. Something that just happens or, or you guys have to work toward it too. Uh, a lot of work towards it. I think just experience and, and just advancing in the tournament honestly helps a ton too. Um, you know, just understanding what it takes and what your, you know, what your goals really are and stuff. And so, uh, you know, that having three starters and a lot of people who contributed to a team that was right there, um, you know, with the chance to go to the Final Four, I think that we all have a lot of. Uh, Experience and confidence, and we're able to, uh, you know, bring that to the other guys. All right, thank you. All right, thank you, guys. Appreciate it.